In this problem, we're told how many joules and kilocalories are generated when the brakes are used to bring a 1200 kilogram car to rest from a speed of 95 kilometers per hour. So the first thing you want to do is draw what's going on. So we have this car going 95 kilometers per hour, and we know it's going to go, right? It's going to slow down until it reaches zero kilometers per hour. We're trying to find how many joules and kilocalories are generated uh, from the brakes, right? When this happens. And so the way we're going to solve this is by using a couple formulas. You need to realize what's going on. So the first formula you need to know is for kin uh, kinetic energy, right? I'm going to call it KE. Uh, the formula for it is one half mv squared. And so keep in mind, we're going to have some kinetic energy here, and then it's going to go to zero. And so eventually this energy is going to have to go where or go somewhere, right? And so it's going to go through uh, into thermal energy, right? It's going to convert all the way into thermal energy, which basically means uh, Q, right? The heat, the heat energy is going to be equal to the kinetic energy. And so we know the kinetic energy, we can just calculate it here because it's going to be some value here and then zero here. And so essentially all this kinetic energy is going to be lost. So the kinetic energy is just going to be equal to the heat energy. So basically Q is going to be equal to one half MV squared. And so essentially what we're going to be solving for is Q. So that's what they want us to find. So Q we measure in joules. It's going to be equal to one half times the mass. In this case, the mass of our car is going to be 1200 kilograms. So it's in kg, so we can leave it. So 1200 times the velocity. And so when you do this, you need to make sure it's in meters per second and not kilometers per hour. So let's go ahead and convert that. So uh, 95 kilometers per hour. So we have the hour on the bottom. Let's start by getting rid of the kilometers. So we know that for every one kilometer, there's a thousand meters. So the kilometers will cancel. And then we got to get rid of the hour. And so basically 60 or there's going to be 3600 seconds or sorry, this goes on the bottom. For every one hour, there's going to be 3600 seconds. So that's going to cancel. And so we're just going to have it in meters per second, which is exactly what we want. So you're going to want to do 95, right? This is just mean 95,000 divided by uh, 3,600. So I'm just going to write it like that. So uh, 95,000 divided by 3,600. And so keep in mind, this is meters per second. And so now that we have the velocity in the correct units, we can just go ahead and plug it in. So 95000. Zero, zero, zero divided by 3600 and then you're going to want to square this value so let's go ahead and do this keep in mind this is just going to become 600 so you're going to do 600 times and then 95000 divided by 3600 and then square that value and so when you go ahead and do this you're going to find that q is going to be equal to 417824 and this is going to be uh, joules. So 417,824 joules. Uh, we're just going to round. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So Q equals 4.178 times 10 to the 5 joules. So you can round whoever your teacher wants you to. But keep in mind, this is going to be the number of joules. But they want us to also find the number of kilocalories. So we have to convert from joules into that unit. So we have 4.178 times 10 to the 5 joules. And so you need to know that 1, 1 k cal is equal to 4,186 joules. So the joules will cancel, and then we're getting it in the unit we want. So basically, just take your number, divide by 4,186. So I'm going to divide it by this number. So divide it by 4,186. And so you're going to get it equals 99.81. And then, yeah, there we go. So you can round this if you want. It's basically 100. Just make sure you round how your teacher wants you to. So 100 or 1 or just 10 to the 2. So you can pick however way you want to do it. But essentially, this is going to be your answer uh, in this unit. And then this is your answer in joules. So uh, these right here are going to be your answers. And hopefully you found this useful.